Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the Bitcoin price is ranging between these two moving averages. The moment the price begins breaking support or resistance, that will determine the next short term trend for Bitcoin. And zooming out here on the daily time frame and bringing out this indicator, this still suggests some further downside price action to come. And in just a moment in this video, I will be explaining all of that information alongside my next Bitcoin price targets and my Bitcoin strategy. And I'll also be going over the Bitcoin order books across all of these exchanges because right now something very interesting is happening below the $39,500 area. And also I'll check out the Bitcoin fee and greed index towards the end of the video. And on top of all of that, I'll give you guys another update on the Evergrande situation. So this video is definitely an important one to pay attention to and one to watch all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on all of this valuable information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Bitcoin US dollar chart here on the four hour time frame. And right now, the Bitcoin price is finding support along the 21 week simple moving average. That's what this green line is just here. And right now that's coming in at around 41 and a half thousand US dollars. And then of course, previously we did find resistance along the 50 day exponential moving average, which right now is coming in at around 45.2K. And pretty much ever since we dropped below the 50 day exponential moving average, average around five days ago, the Bitcoin price has been ranging within these two moving averages. And in the immediate short term, the volatility has decreased just a little bit, which shows us that once again, we're entering a little bit of a sideways consolidation here. So honestly, I don't expect any major move in the Bitcoin price in the immediate short term. Taking a look at the RSI and the MACD here on the four hour time frame. First of all, the MACD is not really giving us any signals here on the four hour time frame. It's looking pretty neutral, but the RSI on the other hand, we are in a small uptrend in the short term. So technically speaking, that is a bullish sign moving forward because usually the price and the RSI are correlated more often than they are not. And this is backed up as well with higher lows in the Bitcoin price on the immediate short term. So once again, technically speaking, that is a bullish signal. But keep in mind, the bigger trend here is clearly a bearish trend. So what does this mean for Bitcoin? Well, once again, as I just mentioned, it's likely that we're going to range here for a little while longer, maybe over the next one to two days. Obviously, it's very hard to tell the exact time frame. But what we do know is we've got some major resistance coming in right around here, not only because of that 50 day EMA, but we've also got this descending line of resistance coming in at around 45 and a half thousand US dollars. But if the Bitcoin price were to trade sideways for the next 12 to 13 days, then we would run into this descending line of resistance anyway. So basically the upside potential in the immediate short term is limited unless we can see a strong break above these resistance levels, which will obviously be a good sign. But at the moment, the trend is your friend. And once again, we're clearly in a bearish trend. And I've been letting you guys know that for quite some time now. Probably the most bullish thing that I could find on the chart right now regarding the RSI and the MACD is here on the 12 hour time frame. As you can see, with this previous low down towards around 39 and a half thousand US dollars, obviously, as I've also mentioned in previous Bitcoin update videos here on the channel, the RSI here on the 12 hour Bitcoin charts did actually drop into oversold areas. And the last few times where that has happened on this chart, we've actually reached a market bottom for at least a little while. Obviously, the price can stick to a bearish trend and actually go lower later on. But once again, that bottom that we actually formed when we reached oversold areas usually remains the bottom for a decent amount of time. And the last time that that happens, for example, that $30,000 bottom remains the bottom for around just over a month before we dipped just a little bit lower. But at that stage, obviously, we didn't go far lower than 30,000. It was only towards around 29,000 before we actually bottomed out. And the last time the Bitcoin price really bottomed out here in the second half of July. Once again, we reached those oversold areas here in the 12 hour RSI. And so that signaled to us that the bearish price action was going to at least stop in the immediate short term. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now, ever since we actually saw that signal a few days ago. As you can see, we are still in this bearish trend. We haven't confirmed a new uptrend, obviously. But with that being said, ever since that happens, the price has pretty much just ranged sideways. But zooming out on the daily Bitcoin chart, taking a look at the RSI and the MACD just here, as you can see, they're still in a strong downtrend at the moment. Obviously, they're approaching the bottom. They are clearly closer to the bottom than they are to the top, but they both technically have some more room to the downside. So keep that in mind. We could see some more bearish price action, especially if we break below these initial support levels. And usually it's easier to confirm a market bottom if we reach oversold areas in the RSI on a higher time frame. So for example, the daily time frame is more significant than the 12 hour time frame. So if we ever reach oversold areas in the daily time frame, once again, that usually means that 
that we're at a major market bottom. Not always, but usually that is a pretty good buying signal if we actually make it that low here on the daily RSI. And right now, if you're just mapping out the trend in the daily RSI, if we continue on this same sort of trend in this same momentum to the downside, then the daily RSI could potentially enter oversold areas as soon as around one to two weeks from now. And once again, this is exactly what I've been discussing over the last couple of days here on the channel. But something else that I haven't really discussed in my last few videos, obviously the longer term subscribers on the channel would already know about this indicator. And this one just here, by the way, is called the Wukulich ratio. And what this indicator actually does for us is the majority of the time it prepares us for some bearish price action coming soon. So let's just look at the last few times where this indicator has flashed a red signal, which means bearish price action is on the way. We had a couple small little flashes towards the end of last year, which weren't very accurate in terms of this indicator just here, because obviously the price action back then was not very bearish at all. So what we can take away first of all is the bigger the red signal just here, the more accurate this indicator usually is. So for example, towards the end of December, leading into the very beginning of this year, this Wukulich ratio indicator was flashing a huge red signal, which was preparing us for some bearish price action coming soon. And then just zooming in here, the moments that this red line dropped below this orange line, that was the moment that the bearish price action was actually confirmed. So if you're lining that up with the Bitcoin price just here, as you can see, it was this moment in time that the next correction to the downside was confirmed in the Bitcoin price, according to this indicator. So clearly that was an accurate sell signal. And what you'll notice here as well is when this indicator is actually flipping back above the orange line just here, that is usually giving us the signal that things are starting to flip a little bit more bullish again, as you can see right here. Now looking at the next time that we saw a red signal here in the Wukulich ratio indicator, that was in the second half of February. And if I put a vertical line just here to actually see when that indicator crossed, that perfectly predicted the next downwards movement in the Bitcoin price. And it wasn't until this indicator started flipping into the gray zone again and started actually meeting this orange line again, that the Bitcoin price actually started bottoming out. So obviously if we're in the red zone, we're still at risk of further downside price action. Now looking at the next crossover in this indicator just here, that was on around the 14th of March and placing a vertical line at that exact crossover to give us the sell signal at that time during March. Once again, that was almost at the exact top at that stage, just before we saw more bearish price action. Now looking at the next sell signal in this weekly ratio indicator, that was in around the middle of April, right when Bitcoin actually reached its all time high towards around 64,000 US dollars. So if I'm actually placing a vertical line right here, when these two lines in this indicator actually crossed over, that was right here, as you can see, just before we saw a lot of bearish price action coming next. And obviously, if you're on the channel a few weeks ago, I let you guys know about this indicator being a huge warning signal about all of this bearish price action before the bearish price action even started. And so if you pay attention to where we actually crossed over in this indicator right here, as you can see, it was exactly at this time when the Bitcoin price was actually topping out here, getting ready for all of this bearish price action coming next. And once again, this is nothing new for the subscribers out there. I've been letting you guys know about this indicator before before we saw that bearish price action, warning you right back here that we are due for a lot of bearish price action coming soon. And right now, what's very interesting is two major things. First of all, this indicator is actually finding major resistance along the orange line right here, which means that we have a decent amount of bearish momentum at the moment, because once again, we only start flipping bullish according to this indicator, if we can start breaking back above this orange line, and we are simply not seeing that just yet. And also the second thing to note about this indicator is the fact that right now, we are still in the red range. We are still in a sell signal. Previously on the Bitcoin charts, we've been in a red range when we're still at risk of further downside price action. And then we only start exiting the red range and entering into the gray period when it's likely that we're approaching a bottom pretty soon. But right now, according to this indicator, it's still telling us that we are due for more bearish price action coming soon for Bitcoin on this daily time frame. So that's not necessarily in the immediate short term, because once again, I just let you guys know that in the immediate short term, talking about the next few hours, maybe the next one to two days, we could be entering a little bit of a sideways consolidation of some sort just in the immediate short term. But once again, this is on the daily time frame. So each one of these candles is an entire day. So looking on the bigger picture here, looking over the next few weeks, maybe over the next one to two months, that sort of time period. Technically speaking, we are looking a little bit more bearish at the moment on the bigger picture compared to bullish. The biggest hope for the Bitcoin bulls right now is to hold above this level just here, which is the technical price target out of 
this rising wedge pattern that was previously forming on the chart. And once again, this was another pattern that I was warning you guys about of this bearish price action before we actually saw the bearish price action. And obviously the technical price target for a rising wedge pattern is the bottom of the wedge. And right now that's coming in at around 38,000 US dollars. And we've previously had a pattern just like this one on the Bitcoin chart earlier in the year that was over a much bigger time period. And as you can see, we actually dropped down to the technical price target for this pattern, which at that stage was this previous low that we saw back in January. And that was coming in at around 30,000 US dollars. So there's still a decent chance that we could come down towards around 38,000 US dollars. Obviously there's no guarantee for anything to happen in the markets, but if you're simply looking at previous price action and looking at all of the patterns and indicators right now for Bitcoin, once again, on this daily time frame, they are looking a little bit more bearish than they are bullish. But as I always say, with bearish price action comes amazing opportunities because it's in the bearish price action that are the best times to buy Bitcoin. Obviously, that is not financial advice or anything. That's just letting you guys know my Bitcoin strategy because once again, I was letting you guys know that every single day here on the channel during this time period just here. I was letting you guys know that I was going heavy into Bitcoin down towards 30,000 US dollars in anticipation of a major move to the upside. And of course, we got that major move to the upside. And once again, towards the top of this move to the upside, I was letting you guys know that I was slowing down my Bitcoin purchases in anticipation of a move to the downside. So now that we are seeing that move to the downside, I am getting ready to go back into Bitcoin quite heavily. At the moment, I am dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, but if we do see some slightly lower prices, as in towards around 38, 39,000, that sort of area just there, that's when I will begin going even heavier into Bitcoin. But once again, that is not financial advice. That is just my Bitcoin strategy. And what's very interesting about the Bitcoin order books across all of these exchanges right now is the fact that just below 39,500 US dollars, we have a huge increase in buy orders below 39,500 once again. So this will act as huge support for the Bitcoin price. It will be hard for the Bitcoin price to push below those levels. Obviously, we can push below those levels if there's enough people wanting to sell Bitcoin at that stage. But anytime we see a massive increase in buy orders around a particular price range, not always, but usually that level actually holds as support. And once again, that's starting at around 39,500 US dollars as the first initial support. And that's really going down towards around 38,000 US dollars. So that's pretty much exactly that major price target to the downside that I've been talking about for quite some time. Once again, the technical price target is at around 38,000. US dollars, but according to the order books just here, the support really starts coming in at around 39 and a half thousand US dollars, which is actually where we just reached a huge bottom at the moment in the market. So once again, in between around 38, 39 thousand US dollars, pretty much anything below 40 thousand is where I will begin to accumulate much more Bitcoin moving forward, even if we do actually make it down to those levels. Obviously, we don't have to, but if we do, then that is my Bitcoin strategy moving forward. And quickly checking out the Bitcoin fear agreed index. Right now, we're still sitting in a fear signal. And when the market is sitting in fear, usually that turns out to be a good buy signal, especially if you're holding for the longer term. But keep in mind, we still technically have some room to the downside because we're not in extreme fear at the moment. So once again, we could go a little bit lower. But with that being said, once again, just generally speaking, dollar cost averaging into fear and holding for the much longer term or even until we just start seeing some greed or extreme greed again. So far, that Bitcoin strategy has been very profitable. And now giving you guys a quick update on the Evergrande situation. And first of all, for the brand new viewers here on the channel, I actually made an entire video explaining the complete Evergrande situation right now. And I definitely recommend watching that video because honestly, that's very important for all investors out there. And how you can find that video is simply clicking on my channel just here and scrolling down to this top suggested for you playlist. And it's that first one to the left here, as you can see, the Evergrande crisis explained. In that 11 minute video, once again, I go over exactly what this crisis actually is and what it means for not only the traditional markets, but also for the entire crypto markets. So watching that video will bring you up to speed. This is just a quick update on the situation. And right now, there's meant to be an interest payment of around 83 and a half million US dollars that was due on Thursday. But according to the New York Times, the deadline passed without a word and with no sign that the closely watched for payment had been made. And so after the deadline passed and after there was no sign of Evergrande actually making that huge payment that they needed to make, 
we saw another huge sell-off in Evergrande shares. And as you can see here, there's actually a 30-day grace period to make that interest payment. Otherwise, it results in a default. So right now, Evergrande basically has one month to catch up on those millions of dollars due. And once again, if they do not make that payment, they could potentially default on their debts. And just to update you guys again on the amount of debt that Evergrande holds, it's over 300 billion US dollars worth of debt. And so obviously, if Evergrande defaults on all of that debt and collapses as a company, that scenario is clearly the worst case scenario in this situation, because obviously that would be extremely bad for not just the Chinese markets, but also the global markets in general due to the flow on effect or the contagion that something like this could have. But once again, I discuss all of that in more detail in that Evergrande situation video that I uploaded around three days ago here on the channel. So I definitely recommend you watching that video to bring yourself up to speed on that situation. And by the way, I give these extra updates throughout the day on the entire crypto market over on my Twitter. So if you want to stay up to date at all times in these crypto markets, definitely make sure you're following me over on my Twitter. And the link to my Twitter is in the description down below. And by the way, there are some scammers out there. So definitely beware of those. For example, there's some scams out there that try and impersonate my Twitter profile. So my only real Twitter profile is this one just here at Crypto World Josh. It's the one that's linked in the description down below. And it's this one with around 28,000 followers. Any other Twitter profile that you find that is not this one just here that's linked in the description, then it's simply a scammer trying to take your money. So please be careful of all of those scams happening at the moment. But anyway, that's about everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this one. It only takes a couple seconds out of your day to click that subscribe button down below, but it honestly helps out the channel so much. And I really do appreciate all of your support. But anyway, that's about everything I have to say for this video. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.